Hi, this is Joelle, and this tutorial is on how to create and assign practice rooms. What creating a practice room means is it's basically creating copies of a single project to allow for separate workspaces in that project. This is of a, a single project. Allegretto that has many different practice rooms. So how I've set this up is that I've created one set of reference tracks and then assigned them to all of my different students so that they can have a separate place to work. Okay, uh, if you're interested in other scenarios in which the practice room feature might be helpful, then you can refer to the written version of this tutorial on the tutorial page of the website. There's a, a couple of other situations in, in which this might be helpful. But basically, that's the gist of it. Okay, so uh, let me show you actually how to do this. So let's create some practice rooms in this piece, Crazy Chicken Dance. So once I open the project, then I can go over to the gear icon and come down here to administrate. And let's say that this is a this is a viola duo piece. And let's say that I have four students and student one and three are working on the viola one part and student two and four are working on the viola two part and I want them to be able to practice this together. So what I'll do is in this manage collaborators box, I'm going to put student one's Google account address. I'm just making this up obviously. I'm gonna put them in room one and then student two, oops. I'm also going to put them in room one because remember they're working together. Student three, I'm going to put them in room two along with student four because those two students are going to work together. Okay, so now I'm going to add the collaborators. And of course, I was making up all of these addresses, so the project isn't actually shared with any of those made up addresses, which is why I get this message. The project hasn't been shared with my made up students. Um, it's obviously not a problem for me. It would be a problem for you. Uh, you'll need to share the project to learn how to do that. You can refer to the how to share projects with your collaborators tutorial, which is on the tutorial page of the website. But for now, I'll just say cool, thank you and I'll show you what it looks like. So I have this message because again, I haven't shared this project, um, but I can tell, tell the changes took. There's student one, student two, they're both in room one, and student three and four, they're both in room two. So these students will only be able to access room two and make changes in room two. These students will only be able to access room one and make changes there. Okay, this concludes the tutorial.